Hi, welcome to the tutorial for the book cover. Um, this is the lining piece here. Make sure you get all your pieces cut out and we're going to start with the inside um, preparation of the bag. I have chosen to use, this is one of my inserts and the same on the other side. And this will be my little pocket which I've done in the same fabric. You can choose to vary yours up completely um, just so you visualise what we're doing. Um, the book will go in here or your notepad, that'll be covered over and that side will go on there. So it'll look like that once it's all sewn together. So what we're going to work on is these panels here first. I'm going to do a nice hem down here take the pockets off first and then I'm going to do some quilting just stitches coming down here just to add a bit of decoration um, and I'll do that now so just for the purpose of the video I have um, got a darker thread that I'll be using I'm going to do my edge in here, so I'm just going to turn that over and just turn over this edge here about a centimetre roughly. I'm just going to use a straight stitch going across there. Now hopefully you can see, because I've used quite a dark thread on there, um, you've got a nice line there. Now what I'm going to do, just using my uh, presser foot and the measurements on distance on my machine, probably about a centimetre apart, I'm just going to do some more stitch lines down here. I'm going to make my line my stitch length larger <clears throat> and then do that going across just so it adds a little bit of luxury to our inside of our book cover. When you are starting your second um, insert sleeve make sure that you're doing a mirror image for your seam fold so finish this one that's got my seam going down here, so then I need to do it on this side, okay? Next stage, we're gonna add the pockets onto here. And to do that, we need to create a hem going across the top here first. If you wanted to add the detail of the stitching going down here, then you can do. I'm not going to on this occasion, I'm just going to leave these ones plain, okay? So, I'm going to turn that over about half a centimetre. You can iron it and you can measure it if you like. I do a lot of things just by eye. Turn that over again, so that's ready to sew down. Just put a couple of clips in there. Okay, so these two we're just going to sew, back stitch, come across, and back stitch. Exactly the same on this one as well. Right, so these are going to go on here. Now you might have noticed when we first did this I only turned it over once for this hem here you can add this on before doing this if you wanted to um, but I'm going to add that on now so that's going to go on there and let's get some pins pin this in place Uh, 
and then this is going to come across here and we're just going to go over that same line there and go all the way down and secure that on okay okay so the lining stage of our book cover is done the first stage of it anyway um, we're gonna finish these edges when we attach it to the outside cover so we're going to leave this bit for now um, and come back to it in a bit okay right so this is the front of our book cover design this is how um, I've chosen to lay mine out and the fabrics that I would like to use on the inside cover when I was using this fabric for the flaps that the book um, will go into to hold it in place I decided to add the stitches going down I'm going to do the same on this bit here which is the spine of the book cover so I'm going to add one centimeter gap stitches going all the way down here so that it just matches up with the inside of my book cover if you don't want to do that you don't have to um, the first stage you're going to do, you can see that these are all slightly larger, that's because they've all got a one centimeter seam allowance um, on either side. So we do need to join, this is the front panel, we do need to join these two together and these two together. And then we'll be joining it to our spine and we'll be doing the same for our back panel. So we'll be joining these two and these two together with a one centimeter seam allowance and then again joining that to our spine. So I'm going to go and sort and add the quilting decoration to my spine first. Okay, so I've done the stitching on the spine that I would like. We're now going to add these together. So I'm going to go ahead, one centimetre seam allowance to stitch across here. Once that's done, I'm then going to add this one to here and a one centimetre seam allowance. And the next thing to do is to iron flat our joins. Now if you wanted to, you can top stitch along here and along here to keep those seams nice and flat, but it depends whether you want that on the front of your book panel or not. Um, I'm going to leave mine as it is and go to the next stage. So on the next stage we're going to get the spine and we're going to join the spine onto here okay right so I've attached this spine to the front of our bookcase I'm going to book cover sorry I'm going to now attach these three same process as we did these and then press the seams open join it to here and then once it's all joined I will then press these seams open here and here okay Okay, so I'm going to sew down here, centimetre, seam allowance to join those together. So when we open it up, we'll have our book back design and front design here. Okay, see you back in a minute. Right, so we've joined all those pieces together and ironed out flat the seams on the inside. Now, if you wanted to continue to add the quilting effect to the front side, of your book cover or even the back side this is a time to do it now so you can change your thread color and you can do fancy stitches if you wanted to up and down on the background of these if you so wish I'm not going to do that on mine I'm just keeping the theme to the spine and the inside inserts of my book cover 
The next stage is doing the applique panel for here. And um, it is at this stage, if you, you don't have to do the applique panel, you can completely leave it out and have your book cover that just has the material on here. If you want to do this, this is the next stage. So I've chosen um, pink as my panel that's going to go on here. And I've chosen raw edges on this. You can use um, your pink and shears if you want to, to have a zigzag edge. You can turn the edges over and do a stitch all the way around if you'd like it not to fray. Um, I'm gonna, I quite like mine to fray, so I'm gonna leave mine as a raw edge. You've been given some heat bond paper and I have transferred the template design of the sewing machine and I've done each section separately so you've got the sewing machine here, the circle that goes on it here, the wheel handle here and the little bit down here. You need a gap around or an edging around all that you have drawn so we're going to cut those out and then you can see I've got the lettering over here. So I'm just going to get a pair of old scissors So each one you just want to cut around, don't cut to the edge at this stage, okay? Now I've just put me time on here because that's something that we use a lot in our sayings on so darn tempting and when we're advertising and talking to you guys taking that time out to to have for yourself so that's why i've titled this one me time you can do your own lettering you can choose whatever lettering you would like to do that's absolutely fine okay um you don't have to use the ones that's just in your this month's make completely fair it up and be creative with it now this heat bond has glue which will stick the two bits of fabric together and also if you're doing it the way I'm showing you at the moment, we'll stop any fraying. So you'll be able to cut right to the edge and stick it down. And you don't need to add any stitches if you don't want to. Let's put those over there. So this is the panel I'm working on now. And I'm going to be adding fabric onto this. I'm going to work with the I'm going to show you one of them and then you'll be able to um, get the idea and be able to carry on with the other design or the rest of the design. Let's make sure that that fits onto there. So you choose your fabric that you would like. I'm going to go for the Pink Tigers. Now, as this is glue, I just want to make sure that none of this goes onto my heat mat down there. So I'm just going to trim that edge a little bit. You're going to have this so the right side is facing down obviously with the lettering make sure I've already um, reversed mine make sure that you reverse it otherwise uh, you're not going to be having it the right way around so I just leant up against the window and copied mine that looks good get the iron and quite literally just pressing this down over the top. I'm just 
just check the edges are oh it's really hot do be careful yeah they're all nicely stuck right so the next stage once that is stuck on there is to cut around your image now if you want to change the image by all means do you can use a bobbin anything anything that takes your fancy I've just drawn a sew machine as I'd like this little notebook to have all my ideas in future makes or well, even it could be a little photo book of photographs of all the makes that I have done almost like a photo album so because this glue is gone to the edge here or we're cutting up to the edge um, the fabric won't fray which is good but you've got two different threads in your pack and you can easily get the contrasting thread and add stitches around it if you wanted to so you can see here we've got this so I'm going to add that onto here and I do that by taking off the backing and you can see it's all shiny and then I'm going to iron it onto place onto there okay Right, so I'm just going to stick this in place where I'd like it. I'm using a dry iron here on high, medium to high heat. And just allowing that glue to melt and bond together. I'm going to do the other side as well just to make sure it's all nicely secure so for this part of the video um, I'm going to stop it and I'm going to start adding the other pit bits of my sewing machine so I've got my circular handle that's going to go here and um, I will add that on and join you back in a moment Right, so I've stuck all these areas down and the next thing I need to do is sew a line down here for my needle from the machine and that's going to be catching a bit of fabric that I'd like to be loose on the design. So what I've got here is some of the animal print and just a little bit of the spare of the heat bond stuff. I'm just going to... Um, iron that on and then sandwich this fabric together and cut a square out I am going to stitch around it so it looks like it's actually going through the machine okay so I'm just going to sandwich that over now I did design a circle here and that was meant to go here for the uh, display and dull on the sewing machine but I think I'm going to leave that off mine if you want to add yours on then do so now we're just going to sew down a line for our needle and then add on the fabric in a second because I did want to stitch around here so I should have done that first really and then we're going to stitch back up here for the needle out and so we can see we've got our needle coming down from the machine I'll tidy up the edges in a second I just want to very quickly go around the edge of this I'm just going to move my 
needle so that it's closest to the edge and go around here Okay, we'll trim those edges off and then we're going to add this to our machine motif here. Where did it go? There it is. So I just want it hanging off there really. Attach that in. The next stage uh, is going to be the same process with the lettering here. As I said, you can choose any lettering. I'm putting me time on. So just choose the fabric that you'd like, exactly the same process as this, and then you can iron it straight down onto here. So I'll see you back once I've done that stage. We have that stage done. Um, I'm going to probably go around the centre of this with a stitch and down here with my contrasting thread and then I need to add this panel onto here and I might just use a decorative stitch around here and here okay so I'm going to go ahead and do that and see you back here in a minute 